Keeprite Air Conditioner Troubleshooting If you're looking for help fixing your Keeprite Air Conditioner, look no further. Our comprehensive Keeprite Air Conditioner Troubleshooting Guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Indoor airflow is not adequate. Check your furnace air filter to ensure it is clean and not dirty or clogged. This could be restricting air flow. Also make certain there is a proper supply of air coming through your home's vents. Adjust all registers so they are open. If you find air not moving through all vents there may be a block in your duct work. AC unit is not the correct size. An AC unit that is too small will have continuous run cycles. An AC unit that is too big will have short run cycles. Both of these issues will eventually cause your HVAC system to prematurely fail. Confirm you are using a unit that is the appropriate size for the space you are cooling by contacting an HVAC professional. Outside compressor condenser unit is obstructed. Remove any brush or debris from the area surrounding the unit. A good rule of thumb is to have nothing within 24 inches, including building walls and or fences. Outside units require proper cool air flow in order to function correctly. Power to unit is disconnected or loose. Locate the plug for the AC unit and ensure it is properly plugged into the electrical outlet. If power is not restored, check the building electrical panel to ensure a fuse has not blown. Or a breaker tripped, blown fuse or tripped breaker. Replace the fuse or reset the breaker. If the fuse blows again, or the circuit breaker retrips, leave it off. Thermostat is not set correctly. Ensure the thermostat has working batteries and is operational. Turn your thermostat to its lowest temperature setting to see if the AC unit turns on. If your unit turns on the temperature setting was set too high on your cool setting. Set the temperature for lower than the actual room temperature is showing. If your unit does not turn on there may be an issue with either your thermostat or AC unit. Banging noise could mean a broken or loose part. Potentially a connecting rod, piston pin, or crankshaft inside the air compressor has broken or come loose. Or possibly the compressor requires total replacement. Humming due to loose or unattached parts. Loose parts. Electrical issues. And loose wiring can all cause humming. To avoid damaging your AC unit. Turn the unit's power off. Screaming or loud whistling means a refrigerant leak or high pressure within the compressor. Immediately turn off the unit. Overflow pan has a hole or crack. Check each corner and edge of the pan for a hole or crack. These can be repaired with an epoxy glue as a temporary fix. Damaged pans should be replaced. Clogged filter. A dirty filter will cause ice to form on the unit's evaporator coils when it melts it will drip. Replace the filter and set a reminder to change it every 1-2 months while the AC unit is in use. Plugged condensate line. A plugged line will cause water to back up and fill the overflow pan. Try using a wet dry vacuum. Or a hand pump made for clearing AC condensate lines. To suck or blow the line clear. To prevent buildup from mildew or algae. Pour a little bleach down the line every 4-6 months.